That's that's the kind of bite you like. Come on up here, Mr. Walleye. Turn your head and come up that hole. Come on. Come on up here. There you go. That's what we're looking for. Boom, way down the throat. Hey folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we are out on out of Zippo Bay. We got Nick Painovich in the ice house today and Alex Reinhardt, one of his uh, main men out on the ice. We're out to catch walleyes. That was a fun one right there and I wasn't even paying attention. There you go. Yeah. Walleye dinner. Yeah. Just a pop and I think I'm not gonna pay attention to my depth finder anymore and just keep <laughs> jigging. That's that other one just happened like that too. Come on up here, nice sauger. Yeah, it'll work. It's uh fun fishing definitely up here. Folks, you might recognize Zippo Bay uh, is uh the home of the egg loo, definitely uh, something people love to do. It's a full service resort. You know, they're really set up to take care of people ice fishing here, but the uh uh, you know, one of the main reasons that is is because you got a long ice season. You guys get started yeah. early, early December, yeah. and you're running way yeah. into right March. Right on the international you? border, we're running right till the end of March. Yep. The season yep. goes till the middle of April. Yep. I'm going to throw that one in the bucket, and I'm going to catch another one. Look, Alex, switch lures. <laughs> on the borrowed spoon? No. No, all faithful, huh? Yeah, different color. Orange, huh? One of the things when you're out here, you know, you'll see different colors, you know, the golds, the glow reds, but he bounced to a, a chartreuse and an orange, you know, so it pays to go through the color system. Now we were talking, Nick, business is really based off the road system. That's one of the things people love out here, don't they? Exactly. We base our entire business off plowed roads. Yeah. Yeah, people really enjoy the convenience of coming and going as they please. And, you know, something like this, you got a hot bite on a certain color and you don't have it long, you can run back to the office and get one. Absolutely. <laughs> Ah, I got one too. <laughs> Double up. Maybe we got each other. Nope, this is a fish. <laughs> really nice sauger. Sauger walleye, no? Yeah. Sauger. Triple. Sauger over there. Alex got one, you got one, I got one. Right. That's what the kind of action you come up here Life for. Life is good. Yep. Far from over. Saugerinos. Need some help. <laughs> Get him up the hole here. Oh, come on. Mr. Walleye, this way. Another nice walleye. Yeah, you're kind of getting obnoxious. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> something that they offer here, here that's really unique is they have a uh, deep and shallow package. Doesn't sure. really borrow your uh, hook sure. out here. That's actually in sleepers and in your regular cabins yeah. too, right? Yeah, absolutely. People enjoy it. Uh, we're out in the deep house right now, and uh, yep. morning person would start off in the shallow yep. right at the break of day, that low light condition we're looking for. Yep. And then, you know, towards the hour before sunset, move back in the shallows again. Yep. And we offer that with our sleepers, sleeper shallow yep. with a second deep house. And of course, the cabin people would have two day houses, one in the shallow walleye water as well as the deeper one that has a mix of these fish as well as the saugers out here. Yeah, here. and it's hard to leave this bite, but we're getting into that low light time, so I think we're going to bop up and try that uh, shallow sure. water for the last hour right there. Yo, gotcha. Ah. Yeah. Come. Come up there for you? Nice. <laughs> We're burning daylight. Yeah, that's, that's a good right. time of the day. Yeah, well, it's prime time. Well, that's why you uh, take advantage of that deep and shallow package, you know. Absolutely. The morning runs and them evening runs in houses like this when you're up yeah. shallow, you know, they're 20, 25 foot back about what, a quarter mile, half sure. mile that way. Them fish are just going up the hill and down the hill. Yeah, they Sometimes are. they stay all day here. That's a beauty. Alex is earning his keep. Here he comes. I'll watch your rods for you, Alex. Maybe you'll get one. Here we go. The sun's about setting and they're getting real active. You get it sometimes an hour, sometimes two, sometimes all day long. Yeah, but typically that's... morning and evening. <laughs> yeah, why don't you grab that one there for me? Got another line in between there. Alex is doing double duties. He spends uh oh Spends a lot of the time out on the ice taking care of the customers. He gets to fish every once in a while. Nice grab, Alex. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Get him? Got it. Oh, yeah. Save the best for last. You go ahead. I got it. 
Oh yeah. See him coming up. Now we're cooking. There yeah. you go. Nice one, Nick. Tell you what, that's what people come up to catch walleye after walleye in a little topper like that one, huh? Absolutely. Tugging hard, that's for sure. That jig did the ticket. Tell you what, folks, if you want to come up and uh, come on out of there, you want to come up and catch some fish like that, have a great time, check out these uh, shallow and deep packages they have up here at Zippo Bay Resort. All you got to do is look up zippobayresort.com. For Nick Painovich and Alex Reinhardt, I'm Greg Jones. More Midwest Outdoors is coming right up. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs>